This is the Linksys Wireless B music system. Now, this was featured in a video of mine from uh, probably a couple of years ago now. Uh, the reason I'm making a video now, unfortunately, is because it's dead. And as such, uh, I no longer can use it, and I can't seem to get it to work anymore. Um, I will include the other review I did at the end of this video so you could actually see how it did work when it was working. I used to keep this in my garage up on top of the workbench and it was great because I'd hit the switch on top of the bench this was plugged into. It would turn on, it would be booted up and within a matter of five seconds I hit two buttons on the front and it starts playing the shoutcast. This particular unit uh, was developed by Linksys many years ago. I don't even have an exact date as far as when. Uh, but it was when Wireless B was around and popular. And um, it was a great idea. It had all kinds of cool stuff built into it. Um, the ability to set up a music library, although unfortunately you had to use uh, Music Match Jukebox, which was terrible software to begin with. Uh, you'd have to use that, and it came with a remote, which I have uh, downstairs, actually. No sense showing you that, because it didn't do any more than the buttons on the console do. Um, and it has just a black and white LCD screen to let you know what's going on. Obviously, it did connect wireless to your network, and then it would allow you to stream songs from your computer to this thing. It has two speakers on the sides. They are removable. These are the analog speakers, obviously. Uh, it never went particularly loud, but it does also include an SPDIF port, or SPDIF, or SPDIF, or however you want to pronounce it, otherwise known as an optical out, or toss link, or anything like that, that you can use to interface to a, a newfangled stereo system. Or, of course, you can just use the line out on it into an auxiliary port. I'm going to plug it in now, uh, and show you what it does. These speakers, like I was mentioning, are removable. They just come up and off like that, and you can you don't have to use them, and you'd be left with just this little unit hooked up to your stereo system. The back of it here has uh, all of its information. This is basically what all the uh, connections are that are on it. It does have a wired Ethernet port that you can use. Uh, it comes with a soap on a rope power brick and uh, things like that and basically the power goes into the unit and then out of the unit into the speakers which are powered for the amplifier built in so if anything I will get to keep the speakers not that they were anything at all to write home about but uh, they can be interfaced in any number of different ways with other uh, uh, systems but they are still working speakers for what it's worth uh, you had your inputs for the audio, which are via RCA cables, which you, again, you can use any sort of input you want to the speakers, such as a 3.5 millimeter to 2 RCA, or you name it. Then there was a wire connecting to the left speaker over here, and that was your audio out there. The black plug thing is the uh, SPDIF, Ethernet, and that might have been a Kensington lock there. And those are your two powers, one in from the soap on a rope brick, the other out into the speakers there, and everything goes from there. So let's get this powered up and we'll see what happens. Okay, I don't remember the last time I played with this thing, but it didn't work then. It's plugged in. We've got a green light. Oh, a green flashy light. The display lights up, it says Linksys. And everything looks like it works, but it has not connected to the wireless. Let me go into that for a second. Oh, actually, we got a little display there saying it's not connected. That's what that actually means. And let me go through the menu and see if I can connect it. Yeah, it's just not having it. You know, I can go through. It has firmware, hardware. SSCID is certainly not any, but there's no other choice. Network type disconnected, encryption disabled, no signal, no anything, and it won't do anything. IP address just config and process. 
and it's just shot no matter what's on the display and even if I plug in wired Ethernet I do get a link in activity light but even if I choose change to wired it says are you sure please connect the wire yes right arrow I did that and it reboots itself and it shows a little connection thing my switch is blinking but if I go to do anything such as go to favorites like I did it's empty and if I try to access it on the network it does show wired ethernet now if I go over to oh it actually got an IP address now isn't that rather interesting well okay let's go to that IP address and see what happens it actually still shows up which is really interesting I wonder if maybe it started working again. If I go to favorites, I don't know. Let me punch it in. We'll see what happens. Okay, I just entered that information. We'll hit apply. You'll be returned to the previous page after six seconds. This just rebooted. Holy crap, this might actually work. It didn't work for the longest time. Like maybe it forgot that it didn't know what it was supposed to do. It came back up. It seems to have remembered. Go to favorites. It's there. No shit. Maybe it'll fucking work. Hit the right arrow. Play this station. Mm, doesn't seem to like that kind. Yeah, the buttons seem to have no effect. That's strange. If I hit play, it just doesn't want to play. Alright, let me fart around with the address a little bit. Alright, just change the address. It still shows. Play this station. Playlist error. Hmm. Now it doesn't know who it is anymore. Really interesting. Damn, it almost wanted to work! Let me hard power down and back up and see what happens. Now it starts screwing up again. Device name, it doesn't even know what it is. Everything is unknown. Can't get an IP address. And I've hard powered it up and down. So, it showed a little bit in terms of signs of life. But, unfortunately, it just wasn't in the cards, and in, in fact, it looks like it doesn't even want to power down. Now, a lot of you uh, naysayers out there are going to say, well, just flash it with uh, the latest firmware in that. I would have liked to update the firmware on it to try to do that, but it doesn't know who it is, what it is, and it won't get an IP address. And, obviously, the network is, although it got it now, I don't know, it's just hit or miss at best. I also tried the uh, reset button on the back, but that had no effect either. It just wipes out what's in the favorites, and then it doesn't work. But anyway, for viewing pleasure, back when this thing was working, I will now include that video appended right onto this. Stay tuned for that. Are the numbers now, running now? Now the now numbers are running. running. <laughs> I'm not that drunk. What's that? No, it's alright. So this is the Linksys Wireless B music system. It's awesome because it's old. It was made when Linksys was awesome, and they used to give you connection diagrams and all kinds of shit to let you like figure stuff out on your own by using pictograms and stuff. And it was supposed to be this whole big thing. By the way, the speakers are detachable. Oh shit! Okay. That's revolutionary. Indeed. <laughs> so it was supposed to be the variable whole big thing. fucking boombox. And uh, I think it might. Yeah, and it's actually got an op. Uh, yes, I was saying the right thing. It actually has an optical out. Nice. You wanted to hook to your stereo, and it has antenna on it over here, and it stays in the bendy position. And then you can make it off right, whatever, but I just keep it like that so it kind of looks like a boombox. But, <laughs> you have...
had to run to get this to work. You had to run Music Match Jukebox. If anybody remembers that, way back in the day, on your computer in order to get it to work. Now it comes with a remote kind. All right, so I'm gonna come back over there so I can show you. Here's the remote. And over here, you run Music Match on your system. And then it goes over the wireless, see it has that kind? Uh -huh. And then you go over to browse, but I don't have that hooked up. <laughs> okay. So the other thing is it has favorites. That <laughs> said, there's the favorites tab. Do that, Jay Shoutcast, Bingo Bango, and watch this. You go to favorites, it's programmed in, say so I have it local, and then there's remote. Oh wow. It gets cut off there. But we'll just go to that right there. Play this station. I just powered it down. And you broke your ride. So, like I was saying, <laughs> it's knackered. Anyhow, anyhow, I keep saying that. Oh, I did it again. Anyhow, oh, I did it again. Anyhow, oh, I did it again. <laughs> so, yes, this is the Linksys wireless B music system. And the speakers on it suck, but you can hook up RCA or optical out, like I said. And uh, the other interesting thing was that this would kind of be an awesome idea, or rather it was actually an awesome idea back when it came out. This wireless B is a long time ago. Defunct. <laughs> wireless B was only two rooms away. Being that wireless G and N and all the shit they have now is essentially backwards compatible with all this, it should work, except for the fact that wireless B does not support the security protocols of G or N or anything later. So, in essence, I could take my boom box, okay? I could take my boom box, <laughs> Chat's laughing. I can take my boombox, okay, and go anywhere there's a Wi-Fi connection, and latch on the Wi-Fi, and dial in Jay Shoutcast right there, and I got Jay Shoutcast, right? Except for the security problems. Now that wouldn't be an issue if you have an open connection, because it'll connect right up. But the problem is everybody's brainwashed and you need to set up security on your router. You need a password. You need to set this up. It's very, it's not gonna work if you don't do it. You know? So everybody set up passwords on that. And now, how many times do you go to somebody's house and you got your phone, you got your three or your four or your 18G, whatever it is on your phone, and you say, oh, you have the Wi-Fi? And they're like, yeah, I got the Wi-Fi. Okay, great. Open it. What's your password? I don't know. <laughs> what? No, I mean, do you have it written down somewhere? I mean, because I don't want to use my minutes in that, you know, my data plan. No, I, I don't know what it is. And that's it. It just ends there. Nobody knows what their damn password is. I don't think it's a twist off. So it's fucking useless now. Give it here. Oh, uh, I was about to use my keys, but. My this chair. is what happens when it goes Thank on behind Jay's bar. Can, can, I, can I sit in the chair? I apologize for the short no. interlude. Yes, indeed. That means I gotta move. Uh, throw that out. Put your pitch in. There we go. Fine. I'll move. I, I quit my so pitch anyway, and start my the pitch. End of the spiel. But now, see, you know, like I said, it would be kind of awesome to go around with your jukebox. 80s. You know, 80s style and that. You mean <laughs> in, in your. Well, 80s style. In your millennial jukebox and be circa 19. <laughs> 80s. So you're still tw so you're still 10 to 15 years out. <laughs> hmm. Fortunately, it. fortunately, it comes on a soap on a rope brick, which is <laughs> which is made in China, and as you notice, it is 12 volts DC. Okay. So the one thing that Linksys did not design is a battery compartment that will take eight D cell batteries. I think we can make it fit. 
<laughs> we can make that work, yeah. But you can run off your car in that. But the idea was great. It's just that everybody's smartphone, even their dumb phones, uh, tablet ratings, iPods, I, uh, maxi pads that they have now from, from Crapple, all those who do all this stuff, so you don't even need it. But it's just awesome that I finally got it to fucking work. So I'm gonna put it in the garage because all good things end up in your basement. <laughs> now the question is, Jay, yeah. how long did it take for you to get that to function properly? You what? You got this, what, I got 10 this years, years ago? ago? I never really played with it much. And then when I moved here, I actually did have it set up with Music Match Jukebox. And it, it would work hit or miss. Uh, what would happen is Music Match would crash very often. I don't know what the reason was, but I never tried sucks. reloading the OS. And besides it being, you know, that it sucks. I never tried reloading the OS or I tried uninstalling and reinstalling the software. It never made a difference. So anyway, that was pretty much the deal and it just kind of sat dormant and it even has the dust to prove it. <laughs> So, wow, that is actually visible. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, anyway, like I said, it's there. It does work. And by the way, um, you know, it connects up because I, I had that kind. Because who needs security when nobody's going to connect? And if they do connect, what are they going to look at? The porn I have on my computer? They're going to steal it from me? Oh, no. Oh, no. Because I'm so smart, I put my bank account numbers in a Word document and put it right on my computer. I'm so glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> I know. So anyway, with the soap on the rope brick and that, you know, and it's on a really long cord. That is actually... It just goes. I mean, it's it's like... That's when copper was cheap. Yeah. <laughs> Look how long this shit is. It's like, like fucking forever. That's what she said. Anyway, <laughs> that's the deal with the wireless TV business. Figures. And I think probably about two or three minutes I was playing with it. It's on mute. I can Play just walk away and come that's back 20 drive, minutes later. He's going to keep talking. The asterisk, which is normal dry, it's not shutting off. Gingerly. So I put it back to... Uh, Gingerly. The line in between more dry and normal dry. No, it just shut off. I'd love to be able to finish my video. It's been a half hour now, and he doesn't even know that I'm making this. No idea. It's funny, you can hear the element turning on and off. It makes like a little click. Yeah, right? The element turning on and off. We're at two full minutes. The unit's still running. I also took the fabric temperature thing and I worked that back and forth. You know, I went, I did the cycle switch, I went from cotton. So in a week and a half, I'll finish this video up.